Hey guys, it's Maddie. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be very chill. I am just sitting on the couch. I haven't got my little YouTuber candle burning in the background. I don't know if I've ever done that. I'm still kind of a child when it comes to candles. I'm like, what if I forget to blow it out? Maybe that's not a child thing. Maybe that's just me. But anyway, <laughs> um, today's video, I just wanted to sit down and chat a little bit because I feel like I go in these cycles. I've been uploading videos sporadically to this channel for who knows how long, definitely over 10 years now, which is crazy when you think about it. And I always get in my head about it and think, okay, I have to be consistent to be successful on YouTube. Not that that's even really what I care about. I care more about uh, documenting my life and projects and things that I do um, so that I can look back on them later. And hopefully if I have children, they can look back at it. Uh, later on in life and just kind of see what life was like for me in my 20s um, which is coming to an end which is scary but anyway I get to say I'm still in my 20s there are things I've definitely already put on a list that I'm like I'll deal with that in my 30s but um, yeah I wanted to sit down and talk because there are some things that I've seen recently that have kind of inspired me but also things that are not so great and I just felt like sitting down and chatting with you. Um, this might be long. If you don't want to hear me ramble, you do not have to watch this video. That's absolutely fine. Uh, when I first started YouTube, it was purely because I was watching so much YouTube. Um, it was back when beauty gurus and, you know, fashion videos and everything was just it. Like that was my life. I watched and I mean, it still is. I watch YouTube way more than I watch actual TV. But I did it because it's what I was seeing. I never thought, okay, I'll make a career out of this because to be honest, people weren't really making a career out of it just yet. That came soon after though. And YouTube has changed so much since then. Um, it's definitely something that I have gone in waves with. Like I said, um, I'll get really inspired and say, you know, I'm gonna film this day and this day and I have all these, I've made so many lists of ideas of videos that I wanna film and for some reason I get in my own way because I think, oh well, if it's not perfect, it's not worth putting up. If it's not, you know, getting views, nobody really cares. If it's not consistent week by week, month by month, then why even do it? There's so many ifs that go on with YouTube when you get in your head and you, because it's so saturated, there's so many people on YouTube now compared to, you know, probably when I started watching 10 plus years ago. Um, and I, I just compare myself too much and I put too much pressure on myself and I know those things are bad for me, <laughs> but I think we all kind of do it. Even probably people that have hundreds of thousands, millions of subscribers, uh, put pressure on themselves. They probably do even more so to keep a following. Um, but I feel like it's not out of the realm for me to do in, at this point in my life. I'm not committing to anything. I'm not saying, hey, catch me here this day, this day, and this day, because to be honest, I can't do that. I have multiple illnesses that keep me you know, on my toes every day, actually more so like in bed every day. Uh, where some days I don't want to do anything, some days I'm, you know, running around town, but I can't be consistent at this point in my life and I just have to accept that. Um, it's something that in this season of life is just not realistic and I will always get my hopes up to be consistent with things and I will always be let down because my body is just not cooperating with what my brain and my heart wants to do. I would love to be able to do YouTube full time and content creation and influencing and all this stuff because I know I have the skills to do it. I have the time to do it right now um, because I don't have kids yet and because I do stay at home. Uh, but my body is just one of those things. It's like, I have to listen. When my back hurts, I have to lay down. When my, you know, when I'm having a flare up of psoriasis, I don't want to get on camera because I feel like crap and I don't want to put that out there for everybody else. Um, I definitely want to talk about it going forward more because I feel like it's not represented as much in the YouTube community. I feel like 
in the videos that I watch, I start to get discouraged if I'm seeing someone who can do so much more than I can in a day. And maybe they can't, maybe they're faking it, maybe they're putting everything, um, clipping it together to make it look like a full day of work. But I am not the type that can just deep clean my house in a day. Like that's a process that I'm actually in right now. We're completely, you know, cleaning, decluttering, organizing, decorating the entire apartment. And it's just not feasible for me to do in a day and especially to try and film it because most of the time I'm taking breaks and I'm, you know, oh, I might need to go take a nap for a couple hours or I get upset because I can't finish something or I can't do something the way that I used to or would like to. Hi Cheese, please don't do that. It's my cat. Please don't ruin mommy's couch again. Oh, there's a baby, look. Hi Chi Chi. This is Cheese. He does not wanna be on camera. <laughs> anyway, gotta pose for the thumbnail. Something I wanted to also address is the whole content creation thing. Uh, the other day I was watching TikTok and I think I must have been at a doctor's office or something and I didn't have the sound on. So I was just reading like the captions and words on the screen and someone was showing like a, a, a content creation planner or list or something like that. And it said a year of content on it. And I read it as a year of content. And something in that just was really like, kind of hit me in the gut. I'm kind of wanting to switch my focus to more of the content side of things. Uh, so my grandma, my mom's mom was, uh, we always said this about her that, you know, she didn't have a super fancy house. She didn't have a fancy car. She didn't have, you know, there's a lot of things she didn't have that you would think you would need in order to be content, but she didn't have those. And she still was just like, content to just sit at her house and watch her shows and have her snacks and go get coffee every day with her her few people that you know she did and she was never bothered by the things she didn't have and she was fine with her routine and it wasn't that she I I don't know it's not I don't know that she didn't strive for more but I feel like in today's like society it is very much more, 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 better, better, better. You know, you can always be improving. You can always be uh, looking at the next step. And I'm guilty of that. Like I have always been the type that has been, okay, but what next? When I was single, it was, okay, but who am I gonna marry? And now that I'm married, it's, okay, well, are we gonna have a house one day? Are we gonna have kids? You know, the next, 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 next steps. And that's not necessarily a bad thing, but I feel like I'm missing out on just being content with where I'm at. And I feel like a lot of times my disability and my um, health issues kind of force me to have to be okay with where I'm at because I don't have another option. There is no magic pill. There is no, you know, just snap my fingers and I'm gonna feel better. Um, it is a long game when it comes to mental health, <laughs> autoimmune diseases, um, hormone related things because I do have PCOS as well, like insulin resistant PCOS. It has forced me to have to just take day by day, you know, take life as it comes and be okay with where I'm at. And then I think that kind of ties into the homemaking thing. So recently, as we've been kind of re, re, um, refreshing the house, the apartment, I call it the house because we live on the first floor and it feels like a house, but um, I've been really wanting to take better care of the place that I live. It's very easy with my conditions to let things pile up, ignore things because I just don't have the energy to devote to them. I have plenty of time, I have plenty of resources, I do not have the energy um, to get a lot of things done in a day. So they pile up and eventually that gets to be too much. And a few times a year it seems since Josh and I have been married, we we'll just do like a, a complete refresh of the apartment. That doesn't mean going out and, you know, getting all new furniture or um, rearranging everything. It's just getting things back to a manageable state where it's not so much 
um, pressure on me every day. It's not like I'm walking around things or over things all the time that just remind me that I'm not getting them done. And I think I've had to be a little more force, not forceful, but forthcoming with my feelings on housework and what I can and can't do. Um, my back is terrible. My lower back is completely trash. Um, it's very hard for me to bend over and stand up and bend over and stand up multiple times. If I do that, my back will start like spasming. Cleaning up after these little cats, their litter boxes, is not doable for me. That's something that my husband has pretty much taken over because I can't bend over and do that task every day the way it needs to be done. Laundry is another thing, and I like doing laundry, but moving damp clothes from the washer over to the dryer when you have front loading is hard for me. So I have to ask for help with those things, and I don't like doing that, but it's something I just kind of have to do. I guess my view on homemaking is a little different than um, a lot of people's probably is. If anybody has tips or tricks of, you know, staying at home and, and being content and getting things done, or if you deal with autoimmune or any of those things, leave me comments and, you know, tell me kind of how you, you um, get through because it, at sometimes it isn't about thriving and hustling and, you know, living your best life. It's about just getting through it because <laughs> days can get very hard. I think this little cheesy boy is ready to um, take a nap and I need to eat some lunch, but I hope you liked my little ramble. Um, I was thinking about, cause I just got some little like mini charcuterie, like, set the kind of grown up lunchables honestly and I was gonna sit down and eat that while I was filming and call it like I don't know you me and charcuterie but I don't know if it'd be weird for you to watch me eat while I'm talking so I didn't but just know that's probably what I'll be having for lunch so I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one <laughs> subscribe to this channel if you'd like uh like the video and comment and um yeah, thanks for being here. See you next time. Bye! Don't mind me in my pajama pants, but this is what I was doing during the video. It's just rubbing this little baby. Yeah. It says, I'm so sleepy, mommy. I'm so sleepy. All right. Bye!